painting stage and her renovation yet. First, she's concentrating on what's behind the walls. I wanted you to see the renovation at this stage. I know to the average person, it doesn't look like we've had a lot of progress, but we have. And really, planning is key. On this floor, you can see all our LVL supporting beams are in. Downstairs, the waterproofing is done and I'm so excited. First, let's go upstairs. So now on the second floor, we are well underway. We've done all of our rough in for the wiring, but we've got lots of slack. And the reason being is maybe you haven't picked all your fixtures yet. So how high is that sconce going to be is dependent on that fixture. We've opened up the ceiling and we've actually added extra color ties here because we're going every other one. We've even allowed spacing to hang my beautiful chandelier right here. And then the ductwork. We've added extra ductwork here for heating in the master bedroom and you wouldn't necessarily think to do this, but what I've done is run the ductwork along the floor. Normally you'd have to fur out the wall, but I didn't want to lose any inches. So instead, I decided I'm gonna put the bed right over top of it and you'll never even see it. Wow. This is the first time I've seen the basement since the waterproofing process began. It had to be sealed off to keep it warm for all the curing. Do you remember what shape these walls are in? They were a crumbling mess. They had to be cleaned up, they had to be primed, they had to have another coating to make them smooth and durable, and then a three coats of this waterproofing. It was a big process, but well worth it. The final coat has lots of compression strength, and the reason that's so important is we did what's called negative waterproofing. That's when you actually waterproof from the inside, not the outside. So you can imagine all that water that's coming through these basement walls is trying to push the coating off the wall. So it has to be very strong, very durable. This place looks like a million bucks. I'm already happy. <laughs>